What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Daniel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about female attraction on NoFap. Disclaimer Girls are not the end all be all for men. I'm only making this video because I want you people out there to understand you don't need to search for nothing about women. You don't need to look for nothing. It's no, it's no point. It's pointless. Okay? When you're on NoFap, the key thing I want you to take away from this video is that, like, you being on NoFap and working on yourself, you're going to instantly be able to attract women. The key to being able to do it is just practice. If you're working on yourself and you're on senior attention and you're practicing talking to girls, you're seeing what works and what doesn't, like I did, it's going to be easy. You're not going to need a video. You're not going to need anybody to tell you what to do because you're going to know what you need to know, okay? But for people out there that maybe aren't on seamer attention, that maybe need help, it's a couple of simple things you could do. I say one of them be getting in touch with your masculinity. You know, people define masculinity in different ways. For me, I feel like it's just being your true authentic self okay whoever you want to be whoever you feel like is the best guy the best version of yourself embody him in every way because what i feel like is who i want to be may not be the person you want to be so the key is to embody if you want to be a pro athlete, you have to embody that lifestyle. If you want to be such and so, you have to embody that lifestyle. Also, you have to embody the mindset of whoever you want to be. I'm saying this is crucial because for people that are extremely successful, getting women is not difficult for them. Okay? So you have to embody that person. And once you embody that person and you project that onto a female, the person you're embodying, the best version of yourself, she really got two choices. She either gonna act accordingly or she gonna act up. If she acts accordingly and y'all vibe, it's very simple. You know what I'm saying? You continue to embody the best version of yourself and she will continue to follow. What happens after that, that's up to y'all. But if she doesn't, if she does act up, you have to understand. You don't have time to deal with females that are acting up, man. You're embodying that you're embodying the best version of yourself. Abundance mindset. I'm telling you, there's too many people out here to trash your future. Throw away your goals for one girl. So key would be embodying the best version of yourself. How would this attract women? Because it's the best version of yourself. Somebody is going to see you embodying the best version of yourself. And they're going to see you practicing your skills. And y'all gonna be drawing each other like this. Y'all gonna just be drawing each other. Because once you start practicing approaching girls, talking to them, flirting with them, on your own, not asking for no advice from nobody, on your own, doing what you want to do and practicing, taking what you wanna take and leaving the rest. And on top of that, you're embodying the best version of yourself. You're gonna be dangerous. Because even if all of us fails and you practice on tons of girls, you know, you embodying the best version of yourself. Let's say nobody, no girl likes you. So fucking what, bro? You're that you're that guy. You're that guy. Like on me, what? Like you're that guy. Like you're embodying the best version of yourself. You're becoming successful. I promise you. Somebody is going to want to follow you on your journey. And whoever that female is, if she fits into that role and she acts right, man, y'all going to be vibing, bro. Remember this.
the right girl ain't gonna try to make it as hard as she possibly fucking can on you, bruh. Because she wants you. Why would she make it so where you got a reason for her to leave, for, for you to leave her? That don't even make sense, bruh. That don't even make sense, dog. But I'm gonna refer back to the, my first point. You know everything you need to know already. When you're on NoFap, you know everything you need to know. It's just up to you to practice on women. Can't nobody practice for you, dog. You the only one that can practice. Side note, be careful out here, bruh. Wrap up, wear a condom. Also, be careful with relationships. This is, I'm about to make a very, very valid point. Okay, you are the prize, and she is also a prize, but it's all about how you look at it. If you want to have sex with her, she is the prize. If we're talking about a relationship, you are the prize. It is a prize for her to get you in a relationship with her. That mindset shift would change so much if you just understand that. When it comes to sex, she is the prize. You are chasing her for sex. But when it comes to a relationship and marriage, you are the prize. You are her rock. When you understand this dynamic, bruh, of you chasing sex, her chasing a relationship, you able to play a play the game, so I say. That's why people talk about game. Like people that have so called game are able to get the prize and not have to give a day prize. People that quote unquote don't have game. Give they give up their prize, but they don't get anything in return. See, when I first heard that, it made sense. As a man, you are providing for her in a relationship. You're giving her your love, your support, your kindness, your time. Your time is more valuable than anything. And nine times out of ten, you're most successful than her. So you're giving all this to her. You're feeding her. She's also feeding you. It's not one-sided. Don't get it wrong. It's not one-sided at all. But you are idealizing and becoming the best version of yourself. She might not be doing that. Her price is what's between her legs. Her price is her sexual market value. If she gives you the sex, she's giving you her prize. If you give her a relationship, you're giving her her prize. If y'all both give up y'all prizes, y'all create this beautiful little thing called relationships and marriage and all this other woo-woo stuff. It's actually beautiful, man, when you think about it. It's just... The game is so fucked up nowadays because the girls is giving their prizes so easily. And it's dudes, half dudes don't know how to get the prize. And then the other half giving up their prize, which is relationship. For girls that don't deserve it, just get their prize. When reality, your prize might be more valuable than hers because every girl got a vagina. So it's like. What do you value? Do you value sex? Do you value your time? If you value your time, I wouldn't. If you value sex, you're going to be losing in the game of no fat. If you value sex too much. Because you are the prize. Your relationship is more valuable than any amount of sex a girl could give you. Because you have worked on yourself for years and years and years and years and years. You have been in the gym. You have been reading books. You have been working on your passion. So you're telling me all that 
it's less valuable than what's between one girl's legs. And your time. You remember, you give her all your time, your expertise, your love, all this stuff. She's giving you what's in between her legs. Don't get it fucked up. Some of these girls will support you to the ends of the earth. You gotta understand what's going on, man. It's a transaction at the end of the day, like. Transaction. You cannot get your time back. Can't, man. On that note, man, be safe. I love all y'all boys. And peace.